Today, UXL in 2017 is taking place here in Israel. It's one of the biggest events here. And I'll be speaking there. My talk is called Radical Transparency in Design. I'll be sharing what I've learned after a year of sharing everything I do as a designer here on this YouTube channel. Just practice my talk for the last time. I'm excited. I'd like to invite uh, Ran Segal. Ran Segal is a well-known designer in Israel, one of the best designers I know, but also well-known internationally because he's, he's doing something very, very unique. He uh, broadcasts every day a, li a, a, a vlog on YouTube, a daily YouTube vlog, and he's going to tell us what does it mean to design out in the open where everyone can see what you're doing on a daily basis. Uh, Ran, the floor is yours. Obviously, I can't share the whole talk, it's like a 30 minute talk, but I'll try to give you the key takeaways. So, I've been vlogging for a year, I've been sharing everything, you know, ups and downs, you know, crappy design, days that I'm feeling, you know, like I'm struggling and unproductive. And by being super, you know, honest and transparent about the good and the bad things in my life, in my process, um, I kind of came to realize three good things that happens when you're really honest and that doesn't mean that all of you guys if you want to enjoy those benefits have to vlog and share you know daily on YouTube but you know there are a lot of values by being honest and transparent even with the people that you work in with your team uh, and with your colleagues so the benefits that I've discovered are you know following the first one is that you know being honest and transparent create empathy and what I mean by that is that I used to lie about a lot of things to make myself look professional because I thought that if I would be super honest and people will know that I'm not perfect and that sometimes I'm doing crappy design and that sometimes my process don't work, uh, they wouldn't want to work with me and they would kind of ridicule me or you know think that I'm not professional. But actually sharing with you guys everything on YouTube um, made me realize that when you are being super honest with people they don't ridicule you they're actually showing empathy and you know they encourage you they help you when you're down and you know the, the, the feedback is actually positive and it's not negative so that's the first thing the second thing is that again I thought that if people will see that if I'm unprofessional or that I'm not perfect anytime they wouldn't want to work with me but the fact is that doing that being transparent actually created trust because people know that I'm telling the truth because they see me say good things about my work and bad things about my work they see when I fail and they see when I succeed and in this area you know that we live right now area where everybody lies politicians lie the media lies everybody lies people who are really honest about themselves not being perfect is kind of rare. So by being you know, honest about your failures and not being perfect, that actually does create trust. And that is really you know, valuable to my clients, the people that I work with, my partners. And the third thing is that I think that being super transparent about your work actually raises the quality of your work. And I kind of use the metaphor of open kitchen in restaurants where by the fact of opening the kitchen and customers can actually look inside your kitchen that creates some kind of a higher standard for the people working in the kitchen and I think the same happens in design work and by kind of opening up my kitchen to you guys here on YouTube that actually pushes me to raise my standards as a designer and actually try to do better work and I believe that leads to better results thank you
So we're grabbing a little bite after the conversation or right before the official dinner and cocktails. Adin, did you have a good time today? I had a great time. Especially this and this guy talk. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> Right, so this day is now finally over. Overall, it was pretty fun. Most of all, I enjoyed meeting really great people. That was the best part of today. Got good feedbacks on my talk, even though right now I met somebody who said that I had a slide that kind of offended fat people. And kind of thinking about it, maybe that wasn't really sensitive on my part. So I kind of feel bad for that. But I guess if you don't do, you don't make mistakes, so part of the cost of showing up and doing stuff. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow.